Good morning, guys. So it is half six. Um, maybe a bit later. I may have snoozed my alarm a few times. Um, and I am up and awake. And I have a headache. So I'm gonna drink some water. I'm gonna get ready for a day. And I'm gonna spend that day sitting in a chair learning stuff. Because it's exam season. So I need to know stuff. So I have made my cup of coffee. It's like the first thing I do in the morning. I know it's, well, I know it's bad to drink coffee like as soon as you wake up, but um, I like it. It's a nice routine, and I like the taste of coffee. Maybe I'll try decaf at some point. So now I'm gonna kind of get myself kind of mentally awake, um, and do my to-do list for the day and look at what I think I can get done. Start working probably about half seven. So I've got myself. A nice little morning. So, um, starting work at a half seven didn't go well. It is now eight. But I kind of like to just wake up a bit before I start work. When I'm just writing stuff out, I can just like do it fine and not need to like focus that much. But I'm onto the stage where I'm making revision cards and like actually learning stuff. So I feel like I need to actually focus. So. I don't mind having a slower start to the morning. Getting up at 6.30 just means that I waste a lot less time before I start work. Um, or like at least the time I waste is like wasteable time instead of like getting up at 8 and then starting work at like 12. So I'd rather get up early and just be able to start my day the way I want and then still put in some good hours. And I'm going to get dressed into something that isn't my pyjamas before I start working because working in pyjamas is bad so wish me luck putting clothes on okay so I'm now in my early morning revision clothes I kind of wear these in the morning so I just have a comfy top on and then oh my gosh oh, some stripy pants because they feel like pyjamas but they're not they're actual clothes so at least I don't smell like bed so I thought I'd walk you through what I do um, in the mornings I set out a to-do list and I figure out at what point I'm going to revise up to and then I will do that until like midday or until I get hungry and then I'll have some lunch at some point in the morning I'll have breakfast as well like alongside but at like one I will get myself some lunch and I'll have a bit of a break in the middle of the day and then I will do some afternoon revisions so usually from like two until like six and then I might have like another break and then I uh, might do some more depending on how much I've already got done. And I've been really good at working from home. Um, we have like several options for work available for us. So we can work at the vet school, we can work at the library, we can work at like the Starbucks or the coffee shop or any coffee shop um, or we can work at home. So I either work at home or at Starbucks because I hate working at the vet school. I think it's the most stressful environment to work in. And the library's like a walk away and I can't drive there because there's no parking. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to work at home today because I like working from home. If I feel like I'm being unproductive, I'll go to Starbucks, but like I'm trying to like not spend as much money. And I also really like the like desk vibes that I've got going on. Like it looks quite nice. So that is what I do. Um, it's pretty much the same structure. I've been doing this structure for like three, four weeks now and I'm almost going insane but exams start next week so I have to like hold it together until exams start and then at least I'll have like a break in the continuity and uh, the workload will gradually get smaller. Oh, I can. Oh, I think you've seen me. So yeah, it is currently Saturday and my first exam is on Wednesday, my first written exam. So still got some time but I have a lot of exams and they're very close together so I like to like feel okay-ish in each of them before the exam season starts. I'm gonna start my revision day and enjoy the video. Short little intermission to say how well are my plants doing? Hello. These, this is one of the new boys I got for Christmas. This is the other one. It looks like a heart. He's not doing so well. I don't really understand why but I'm getting there slowly. And then this one's just like going all for it. So is he. I think this one had some flowers coming in. Some little flowers. So this is the like boring bit now where I actually work. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of like what lectures I want to get done. So in my notebook I have a list of all of the lectures on each module and I have ticked these off as so I've written them up but as you can see there's quite a lot that goes onto the next page as well. And I am now making revision cards on all the like key points in my notes. So I have a full notes document and then I have the LO document which is like the learning objectives we get at the start of each lecture. This is the setup um, and I will mainly make notes from the main document but if I'm unsure if something's like really relevant I'll look at the LO document see if there's an LO that it applies for or if, or if I've like carried it over. And I will just make flashcards on like say like any drugs that I come across I'll make a flashcard. Real fun stuff this. And then I'll write down what I want to get done in the morning. So I have a sea of to-do lists um, for each day and you can see that like they'll say like the lectures I want to get done um, and like any to-do things I have to do um, which today just revise I actually have no, no like miscellaneous things to do today um, which is good because I can procrastinate less um, so like this one says revise four lectures in the morning and then go to clinical skills and then revise five lectures in the evening um, so I'm gonna probably do more than four because yeah, it's much quicker making the flashcards than typing out the lecture notes so I'm probably gonna aim for maybe finishing half of the module today and then doing the other half tomorrow around work so we're gonna see how that goes. If I don't make my target and I know I've still like put in the work and the time, then I'm fine. Um, because I'm quite easy on myself when it comes to doing work. If I like feel like I wanna die and stop, then I'll stop. Because obviously like, if I feel awful, nothing's going in. Um, that's also why I like getting started a bit earlier because it means that I can like afford to take that time off in between each lecture or in between when I feel like I need a break. So. If you want to get a productive day, I recommend starting early. Um, going to bed early so you feel fine in the morning. And making a to-do list. So I'm going to do that. Um, and get on with the revision. So I've done a couple of lectures and I have now got a sizable stack developing. I might need to get some more reviewing cards at some point today. Um, but I'm getting quite hungry so I'm going to have some breakfast because it's a little after nine. Um, and I'm going to show you what I make every day for breakfast during revision time. So I'm going to put like maybe half of all of oats here. And then I've just been eating flaxseed quite a lot recently because it's quite high in like omega acids, um, omega-3 fats and fiber and all that good stuff. And then for some flavor we have peanut butter powder. And then I'll put like a bit of water and a bit of milk in. So this is my housemates because I ran out. But um, I usually use oat milk and I sweeten it with some agave. And now I'll just microwave it for like two minutes. So this is the breakfast I have every day. And it's really yummy and nutritionally dense. And it just saves a lot of decision making in the morning. Because I know that I'm having the exact same thing all the time. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to enjoy some chill time. Because it's 9.30. So... I'm just gonna get on with my day. My very exciting, very, very exciting day. <laughs> All right, so it is now almost 12 and my stack has grown substantially. I have done a lot of the lectures and I am on five remaining revision cards. So I'm gonna go to Tesco and buy some more. So I just got to Tesco and I honestly thought I'd like left my phone with my card in at home because my head is such a mess during exam period. Like I find it so hard to focus on like other stuff and forgetting my phone is something I would definitely do. But I didn't, thank God. It was just like falling out in the back of my thing. And I'm just wearing pretty standard clothing. Um, so yeah, I just need to go in and get a few things and then I can go back home and have some lunch. Oh my god, it was so busy in there. I don't think I've ever been more stressed in a Tesco in my life. Let me know if um, going to Tesco stresses you out too, because it stresses me out so much. <sighs> like the laundry detergent aisle was like the, the like most crowded aisle and people were like pushing and banging trolleys and I was just like, ah. So 
also like I have the exact same thing for breakfast every day I also have the exact same thing for lunch every day um this is a sandwich with cucumber lettuce and then corn vegan meat slices and that's my lunch every day sometimes it's turkey sometimes it's chicken not turkey sometimes it's ham and sometimes it's chicken but every day a sandwich okay so i am finally back at my desk gonna revise again and it is <laughs> it's three so um i'm probably gonna pull another four hours uh like block of work with breaks like scattered throughout and then see where i am and then go to the gym hopefully so this is my like evening block i'm like halfway through the lectures that i was meant to do so it's not like the end of the world that i had a big break in the middle <laughs> but yeah i really don't want to work right now we gotta do what we gotta do and it's some pens these are four pound fifty pens are expensive like and the notes cards were a pound fifty. Being a student is expensive, and I thought I could buy some fancy pens so that they last a bit longer. But we'll see if these work. If fancy pens are worth it. Uh, this one's my favourite because it's shiny. Um, <laughs> pen review. I literally couldn't spell diarrhea before vet med, and now I can because it's literally fucking everywhere. So that this isn't a complete waste of everyone's time, I've got five study tips here to help you study. So have a clean desk, have a glass of water beside you, write a clear, reasonable to-do list before you start studying, go and get something to eat if you get hungry, remind yourself of when the exam is and how much time you have left for it so that you know roughly what you need to get done in a day. I don't like timetabling, but some people do. I find them too restrictive and take regular breaks because um, working is hard. Hey guys, so I've been studying for a while and it's not going horrendously, but it's also not going swimmingly and my stomach just rumbled. So I'm gonna make a snack and I'm gonna make some um, the I'm gonna make some um, avocado on toast. Do you ever find that you just like forget an English word that you've known your entire life and then it just goes, it's just lost. So it's about, it's about quarter past six. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm gonna be making it to the gym today, but that's my fault for taking such a big break in the middle of the day, but what can you do? Exams are like three days away and I have work tomorrow, so kind of like growing time, but I'm hungry so I'm gonna make some avocado toast because I don't feel like having full dinner yet because that's, um, that's the whole thing that I just can't bother for right now. All right, so it is like nine o'clock and I had some dinner and I did some more revision and I decided that I should stop because basically I was just revising for the sake of revising, not taking anything in. So now I'm gonna do some yoga because I do not have time to go to the gym because my gym closes ridiculously early, like 10. No, it's closed at 7.30 on Saturday. I always forget um, so I'm gonna do some yoga and because that is also on my um, like tick list for the week and is, is this echoing weird so I just put this beginner yoga and it looks relaxing and fun so we're gonna start this So, um, you know I got serious when the hair goes up and the sports bra gets put on. So that was a really nice yoga session. I'm very relaxed and honestly I think that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. I'm just going to chill, read my book and get up tomorrow morning and do it all again. Well actually I have work tomorrow but I'll still work until like 9. Um, so I'm going to get an early night and hopefully sleep off this headache and keep hydrating and go to bed. Thank you for watching, like, comment, share and subscribe if you want. Um, I hope I see you next time. Bye guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that something I do before I go to bed is I clear off my desk again because there's nothing worse in the morning than finding a desk that is absolutely disgusting and you just don't want to work at it.